I just got off work. Time to go home and eat by myself. Oh, I'm so lonely. Hey, long day at the office. You okay? How are you feeling? I'm fine, but I miss you guys. Oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, Leo, you're so cute. I haven't seen you for two weeks. This is ridiculous. I could never work away from home. Can't wait for the weekend, though. You're still coming, right? Yes, how many times are you going to ask me that? <laughs> we miss you too, babe. Thanks. I know it's pretty far. I appreciate it. Thank you, Becca. Of course, honey. Just one more day and it's the long weekend. You got this. Yeah, thanks. I'll call you tomorrow. All right. Get some sleep. Night. Finally! It's the weekend. I work my ass off today. I got everything done just in time. I can't wait for tomorrow. Oh, Leo, I'm really sorry. I don't think we're going to make it tomorrow. What? Marina, she's burning up. I just came back from the hospital. Oh no. Is she okay? Yeah, she'll be fine, but still, just in case. I'm really sorry. As long as she's okay, I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, but she's got exams coming up, so better not risk it. Yeah, you're right. Get some rest, both of you. Thanks, Becca. I'll call her when I get the chance. Got it. Talk to you later. <laughs> Dad? Where are you? I'm still on my business trip. Why? How are you feeling? Better? Liar! You're near the house, aren't you? Huh? Oh, no. But I just got a call. My friend saw you at the bus stop. My friend Alyssa told me. Oh, darn it. I was trying to surprise you guys. Oh, well. You got me. I'm home. I just had to see you guys. I'm almost there. I was getting something to drink at the store. Hold on. Don't come in. Huh? Why? I, I don't want to see you. Why did you come anyways? You can't just show up like this. Go home. But... I miss you guys. And I was worried about you. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. I'll go home. But can I at least say hi to you? Come on, just come out of the door for a second. I'll wait outside the house. Oh, I'm sorry. For what? What I just said. I didn't mean any of that. I'm really happy you're back, but... But... what? I don't want you coming inside the house because you're gonna be upset. Huh? What do you mean? You're in front of the house, right? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, um, Mom, she's with a man. Huh? Your brother, Luigi. Uncle Luigi? What is he doing here? Not sure, but ever since you left for your business trip, he is here almost every day. Oh, what is he doing there? Dunno. I just stay in the closet when he's here, so... What? Why? Mom told me to stay there. She also told me not to tell you. I wanted to say something, but I was scared. They're upstairs then? Yeah, I'm on the first floor. Okay, Marina, I'm sorry you had to go through all this. I had no idea. I'm really sorry. It's not your fault, Dad. I'm sorry too. I should have said something earlier. No worries. Thanks for telling me, Marina. I don't want to live with Mom anymore. I want to live with you. Alright, you got it. But first... Can you help me with something? Sure thing. Good girl. Okay then, first... Becca, how's Marina? Um, she's feeling sick. She's burning up again, so... Uh, but no worries, I'm taking care of her, so... Oh, okay. Thanks for this. Sure thing. You can count on me. I really wanted to see you, though. I feel so lonely. Really? But you're with Luigi, right? Huh? Luigi, he's sleeping next to you, my brother. What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I'm already home. What? Yeah, I'm watching TV in the living room. You're lying, right? Why would I? Hear that? That was me knocking on the ceiling. I came home. I wanted to surprise you guys. But, uh, I guess that didn't work. So, how long has it been? You and Luigi. Come downstairs. Just be honest with me. Then I might give you another chance. It's up to you. Give me a chance? Seriously? Huh? Who do you think you are, huh? You're kidding me, right? You're the one that left us here for weeks. You were probably cheating on me yourself. Uh, no. 
And Becca, I know. I know you've been seeing him for a while now. Way before I left on my business trip. What? How did you... He left his wallet downstairs. I found a member's card for a nearby motel. Looks like he made this months ago. You went through his stuff? How dare you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? He's my little brother. You realize that? So what? What? He was my type. I saw him at a family gathering and it was love at first sight. I should have married him instead of you. So I started hitting on him and we started seeing each other about two years ago. What? What's wrong with you? Luigi is married. He has a wife. <laughs> you mean that old hag? She's a year older than you. Still, she's old. And I'm way hotter than she is. She didn't stand a chance against me. Fine, I've heard enough. I guess you're not gonna change. Change? For what? In fact, I'm relieved. What? Now that you know, I don't have to worry about you finding out. I can invite him over to the house anytime I want now. Huh? You heard me. Now Luigi and I can spend more time together. Uh, are you insane? You really think I'd let you do that? How stupid are you? Just give it up. You don't have a choice here. What? You love Marina, and you love me. You can't live without us. You'll never be able to live on your own. And you know it. Look, I'll still be nice to you and do things around the house for you. Luigi and I are in love. Just accept it. Then everyone's happy. Ugh, fine. <laughs> Yay, I knew you'd understand. Come downstairs, both of you. I'm in the living room. Let's talk. Got it. Be down in a few minutes. Oh, and I might be pregnant with his baby. Oh, well. <laughs> Why aren't you picking up? <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces when you walked in. It was priceless. You okay there? Don't run away. Come back. What the hell, Vito? Raquel? Why are your parents here? Surprise! <laughs> Screw you! That was so funny! You two weren't even wearing clothes! Not sure why you did that, but too late for regrets now. By the way, your parents are on the way right now. And Luigi's wife and her parents too. They'll be here in a few minutes. What? Why? Uh, I told them to come. Why would you do that? Why not? What did you think I was gonna do? And don't even try to deny it. I already told them everything, so... But you said you were okay with this. Can you believe me? How dumb are you? Why should I raise his kid? You're out of your mind. I'm done with you. I'm getting a divorce. Come down, right now. What? Divorce? Hold on, Leo. Stop. Why? Why? Seriously? You slept with my little brother. I'm done with you. And after what you did to Marina? Telling her to stay in the closet like that? And you barely cook for her. Meanwhile, you and Luigi were going out to nice restaurants using my money. You're unbelievable. I had no choice. I couldn't have her around when he was at the house. And she's a kid. She doesn't need to eat fancy food. You're insane. You make me sick. Just stop talking, please. Come downstairs, now. Let's just get this over with. Leo, are you serious? If you divorce me, you'll be single. You'll be lonely for the rest of your life. That's much better than staying with you. And I still got Marina, so I'm fine. Wait, what? You're taking Marina? Yeah, that's what she wants too. Oh, uh, alright, fine by me. Huh? Try getting married when you have kids. It just makes it harder, you know? If you're gonna take her, then fine, I'll sign. I'll just marry Luigi. And if our parents say no, screw them. We don't need their permission. You just don't get it, Leo. We are in love. You can't stop us. All of this, it's just gonna make our bond stronger. Too bad. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're the idiot here. Huh? Luigi isn't leaving his wife. What? He probably did this to get his wife's attention. Huh? He told me before, his wife wasn't paying any attention to him. He was like, maybe if I cheat on her, she'll change. Didn't think he would actually do it, but and why you? Whatever. Wait, so he doesn't love me? I don't know. Ask him. He's right next to you, right? Leo, I'm sorry. I apologize. Please, don't divorce me. Please, please. Let me guess. He's not leaving his wife. 
No, he's such a dick. He was so nice to me all this time. He tricked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just come downstairs? Let's just get this over with. Promise me. No divorce. I'm not coming down until you promise me. Too late. No! What am I gonna do, huh? I can't live on my own. What am I supposed to do? You're just gonna throw me out? I'm not leaving this room until you give me your word that you're not going to leave me. Uh, you sure about that? Huh? Dad just went upstairs. He's furious. He's probably gonna kick the door in. Watch out! What? No, wait! Do something! No worries. You guys are in love, right? You'll figure something out. Vita, our dad, dragged Luigi and Becca downstairs. Then their parents arrived, and Becca couldn't stop crying. But I didn't even feel bad for her. She was dead to me. And Luigi's wife's dad? He was Luigi's boss at work. He got fired on the spot. He was always bragging about his job, so it sucks for him. And his wife was probably going to leave him, so I guess he's screwed. Becca and Luigi had to pay us a lot of money for damages. They were up to their necks in debt now. Oh well, good riddance. I put my old house for sale. Maria and I started looking for a new place to move into. I also talked to my boss and asked to be transferred to a different apartment so I could work from home. I was a single father now, so I wanted to be able to spend more time with my daughter. Are you crying at home, Tris? Get on the phone. Sorry, I don't want to talk right now. Then let's just text, okay? You broke up with your fiancé, right? Are you okay? I'm not okay. It must have been a shock. Why did it have to end up like this? We'd already decided the day of the wedding. We even talked about where we would go on our honeymoon. I see. He said he found someone else. I can't believe he'd tell me this now. I had no idea this would happen. Um, there's something I need to tell you. Don't get mad, okay? What? It looks like this someone else is me. What? Grace? Your fiancé confessed his feelings to me just the other day. I felt bad for you, but he was so passionate that I ended up saying yes. I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. You said okay? Even though it was my fiancé? You've got some nerve. But... The fact that he confessed to me already means that you and him were over. There's no way you could have went with a marriage with someone like that. So there was really no difference whether I said yes or not. There is a big difference. What about my feelings? Didn't you think that I would have been hurt even more? Well, I did feel bad for you, but I already said okay, so... If you really did feel bad for me, then you would have said no. You just stole my fiancé from me. But he's the one that came to me. All I did was say yes. Stop messing around. You're just trying to justify yourself. I'm so sorry. It's because I'm so much hotter than you. What? I'm the one everyone fawned over ever since we were little kids, right? I'm sorry, but you're just not that good looking, Tris. Especially when compared to me. It's natural that he chose me over you. Quit messing with me. You really think that that's a valid excuse? But it's true, right? Everyone you've ever dated always ends up choosing me instead. But to be honest, I didn't expect a guy right before marriage to do the same. <laughs> you must have planned for this to happen, didn't you? You seduced him and stole him from me. Well, the fact that he was seduced means that he must have not loved you very much in the first place. You should be glad you found out before marriage and not after. How am I supposed to be glad? You're always like this, Grace. You always steal what's important to me. What is your problem? It's not like I'm doing it on purpose. It just always happens to end up like this. It must be one of those unstoppable forces. That's just what you tell yourself, right? In reality, you just don't feel satisfied until you steal what's mine. 
Do you really not want me to be happy that much? You're so greedy. Calm down, Tris. <laughs> Getting angry at me won't get your fiancé back. You should move on and find the next person. Do you plan on marrying him? Um... He proposed to me and all, but I'm not really sure. I feel that marrying him would be too hard on you. It's fine. Why not just marry him if you want to? It's alright? I won't celebrate it, of course. I won't even go to the wedding. But it's not my decision whether you marry him or not. What? You won't come to the wedding? <sighs> That's sad. You just want to show off, right? There's no way I'd be able to celebrate something like that. I probably won't be able to forgive you ever. Do you hate me? But I'm your only sister. You've stolen many things from me ever since we were children. I'm done with being tossed around by you. I don't care about you anymore, Grace. I won't text or meet you ever again. Why? Don't be so cold. To be honest, I want to insult the hell out of you. This is me being nice. Don't bother me from now on. Sorry for having you do all the paperwork on Mom's death and funeral. I'm so glad you returned, Triss. You unblocked me, so this means that we're on good terms again, right? I only unblocked you temporarily. It'd be hard to do all the paperwork without any communication. What? Let's make up. You really did just have me do everything, huh? Mom always loved you more than me, but you wouldn't even do any of the work? You're so ungrateful. But it's all so hard. You're a tax accountant, right? You're better at all this stuff than me anyways. Thanks for being so good at paperwork. <laughs> you don't need to be a tax accountant to do this. You just didn't want to do any work. All you care about is yourself, huh? But aren't you the one who was ungrateful to Mom? It seems that you cut ties not only with me, but with Mom as well. She always did side with you. What? One year after you stole my fiancé from me, Mom told me this. For gr forgive Grace, will you? That's when I realized Mom was on your side, not mine. It must have been irrelevant to her whether I was hurt or not. That's why I decided to get away from her as well. But that's already been five years. Isn't it fine if you just forgive me already? I told you that I would never forgive you, didn't I? It's not right for the wrongdoer to ask for forgiveness. Oh, so you really do hate me, Tris? To be honest, I'm sad. Be sad if you like. It's none of my business what you think anymore. You're being so cold again. I was sad when Mom died. But I'm happy I get to talk to you again after so many years. I only came back because I had to. I didn't want to meet you. Oh, I heard this at the wedding, but... You're getting married? Congratulations! It brings me no joy having you celebrate it. I thought that you might... Ha I thought that you might have not been able to move on from the last time. But it seems you found someone new. I'm just glad you were able to get back up. Don't say that to me. Your new fiancé came to the funeral, right? I actually didn't want to bring him. He's a serious person. He said that since he didn't get to receive my parents' permission for the wedding, he at least wants to attend the funeral. He was so handsome. I thought this for a while, but you really do have a good taste in guys, Tris. Don't you dare put your hands on him. I mean, I did already tell him what happened five years ago, so I doubt he'll be seduced by you. But I wonder if that's true. Men are much more stupid than you think, Tris. They gather to pretty flowers, even though they know it's poisonous. He's not like that. Besides, you already have the guy you stole from me five years ago. Huh? I broke up with him ages ago. You serious? 
It was probably half a year after you broke up with you. I'm the one who said we should break up. I thought he was a wonderful person, but after spending some time with him, I realized he wasn't what I thought he was. I kind of lost interest, you know? <laughs> you ruined my wedding just to go out with him for half a year? He wasn't really my type, but your new fiancé is very much so. You're not that hot, Tris, but for some reason, you managed to get the guys anyways, right? <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have come to the funeral. I shouldn't have unblocked you, too. Don't contact me again. So you're going to block me again? But that's just going to make you even more anxious now that you don't know what I'm doing. So you do plan on doing something, huh? Not really. Why? I'm just glad I'm able to talk to you again. Sorry, Triss. I might ruin your wedding again. Did you do something to my fiancé? Oh, so you didn't notice? I knew it. <laughs> you would have said something if you had. What are you talking about? I'm talking about how your fiancé and I have been getting along recently. We've even been on a few dates now. It seems that he prefers me over you. <laughs> Grace, don't tell me that you stole another fiancé from me. How'd you even get close to him? I went to his house and we talked. How do you even know where he lives? We chat a bit at the funeral. While you're busy hosting a funeral, I got the opportunity to ask where he worked. It was easy finding out where he lived from there. You followed him home from work? Don't be silly. I was just walking nearby and happened to meet him. <laughs> he was a lot friendlier with me than at the funeral this time. Probably because you weren't around. <laughs> we went to this love hotel the same day. There's no way that was an accident. Why do you always try to steal things from me? Why can't you just leave me alone? I can't be helped. I fell in love with him the moment I saw him. That's what you always say. But you just want to steal someone important from me again, don't you? You'll probably just get rid of him immediately again. This time's different. I already promised I would marry him. That's a lie. Mm, it's not a lie. He told me yesterday that he wanted to marry me. There's no way he would just betray me. He's different from the other guys. Bad luck, I guess. <laughs> He's the kind of guy to secretly go on dates with me behind your back. Men must become dumb when they see me. Being beautiful is really a crime, isn't it? You're a demon. What are you saying? I'm just your cute little sister. I should have just ignored Mom's funeral. I shouldn't have come in contact with you again. Don't be sad. If I get bored of your fiancé, I'll give him back. <laughs> or you can go and find another handsome guy for me. <laughs> Are you crying, Triss? Wow. I feel like we're in the same exact situation we were in five years ago. I'm so glad. You've become stronger in the past five years. But you haven't changed a bit. You keep doing the same thing over and over. What's worse, you seem to be enjoying this. I really do feel sorry, you know. I'm sorry for ruining your wedding again. I didn't mean to do you any harm. So please forgive me. That's not what you're actually thinking, isn't it? Liar. I'm not a liar. I really do feel bad for you. It's because I was born so good looking. I'm really sorry. It's fine. That person's not actually my fiance. <laughs> so why not just go ahead and marry him? If you can. What are you talking about, Triss? Did you go crazy out of shock or something? I truly was about to go crazy when I thought about him betraying me. But it seems that wasn't the case. You got the wrong person, Grace. There's no way I got the wrong person. I saw him leaving his house. 
That person's the twin brother of my fiancé. He was just staying over at his brother's house that day. It's no wonder you got them mixed up. They do look identical after all. Stop lying. Your fiancé's name is George Anderson, right? I always call him George, so he would have told me if I had the wrong person. Well, you see... George's brother has this really rotten personality. He must have noticed you got the wrong person immediately, but just didn't say anything. What? Why would he do such a thing? He must have found you hot or something. George says his brother's always been like that. Apparently, he used to pretend to be his brother and hit on George's female friends. He's a perfect fit for you. <laughs> You're lying. That can't be true. You're just saying that to make me give up, aren't you? I asked George whether what you said was true. But he says that he hasn't met you ever, even once since after the funeral. So then I asked his brother if it was his doing, and he admitted it was him. So, it's true that the person wasn't actually your fiancé? Yep, it seems that George's brother is quite the womanizer. Apparently, he always gets into trouble with his wife over it. It seems he was staying at George's house because they just had a fight. His wife? He's married? Yep, and his wife's pregnant too. On top of him not actually being your fiancé, he was married too? So he just tricked me to satisfy his desires? He must have been keeping it in. A stupid woman appeared before him, so he must have decided to use you. What? What do you mean, stupid woman? I'm talking about you. You're the one who's stupid. Calm down. No need to get mad. <laughs> it's because I just got insulted by someone like you. Sorry, but I've considered you stupid from the start, you know? What? Are you not? You always look down on me. But aren't you the one who always has to go out with guys that have already went out with me? It was annoying, but thanks to that, I was able to find out which guys couldn't be trusted. I found someone wonderful at the end, so actually, I'm quite thankful. What are you saying? You're nothing, Triss. Stop acting all high and mighty. I don't know if it felt good stealing my boyfriends. But at the end, the only sort of people who were ever interested in you is guys who would cheat. It means that you're only being used, Grace. I'm thankful because I was able to meet my current fiancé thanks to you. <laughs> I wasn't being used. I'll just steal your current fiancé again, do you hear me? It's too late regretting what you said now that I'm angry. That's all right. The two of us are never going to meet with you again. Both George and I are fed up with our siblings, so we decided to move far away once we get married. Even then, I'll find you. I mean, you can try. But shouldn't you spend that time and effort on more important things like your own future? I don't need to be lectured by someone like you. Really? But I'm actually quite worried. He tried to steal my fiancé, but instead got tricked and was unwillingly used by a married man. You're nothing but a tool to them, Grace. No one's really ever going to love you. Shut up! I'm hot unlike you, so everyone will love me. It'd be nice if you're able to find someone special while you still have your looks. But I doubt anyone would love you after they find out what you're really like. At the very least, my fiancé can't put up with someone like you that hurts their sister for fun, no matter how cute they were. The two of us will forget about you and find happiness. Forgive me, okay? You won't be able to have my used boyfriends anymore. <laughs> After that, George and I got married and moved far away, just like I said we would. The two of us are living a peaceful life far from my sister. George takes such good care of me. I'm so happy to have finally met someone like him. As to Grace, it seems that she gotten herself into quite the mess. She must have gotten mad after being insulted by me, so she decided to find a better guy than George to marry just to spite me and started using a dating website. 
It seems that she met this handsome guy who was also pretty rich, but apparently he was a scammer, and now Grace is in huge debt. She probably lost her calm and couldn't see that she was dating a scammer. It serves her right after stealing so much from me. I won't ever be meeting her again, but I plan on finding happiness whether she likes it or not. This is probably the best revenge I can give her.